All right, um, I got, uh, you can see here, you know, this is the driver's side uh, floorboard here. Um, if you remember all that surface rust that was up here, um, and I had to lift up some of the the rubber um, with where, where the uh, and that that carpeting is or whatever you want to call this stuff, this pad. Um, I had to lift that up to get up all, all the way up underneath here. I cleaned it all off. Um, it's it looks good. Uh, I can just I can just treat all that. Um, got all the rust off. Luckily, it was a surface rust. But right here, um, if you see, you can see there's a couple holes. There's some small ones right here, and right here, and right here. And um, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I could, if you wanted to, just do it the uh, the easy way and uh, and and just do it quick. You can just put some uh, kitty hair over that, or some you know some long strand fiberglass. Um, over that but um, I want to do it the right way and in order to, to do it the right way what you need to do is just replace that metal and um, so you got these you just get some sheet metal and uh, I have a big 4x10 4x10 uh, foot uh, sheet of sheet metal and uh, here's I've cut some off this little piece right here it's just a little square like a one by one and it'll go right here easy enough you just need to cut that little piece out cut that out and then and then uh, we're gonna weld this little piece in and for here right here you can see this is a little bit more this is a little bit more difficult because you have these these uh, bumps right here or not bumps but they're just um, uh, structured that they put in the metal in order to in order to uh, give this uh, floorboard some strength every bend that you put in that metal it um, it adds strength to the uh, to the to the to the metal piece. If this was just a, a flat piece of metal, it would be you could bend it real easy, like the side of your door, kind of. You know, you could it would bend real easy. But this is you know this is really strong because and the main reason is because of these uh, little bends in it. Um, so what you need to do to, to recreate that, um, you're not gonna be able to do it exactly. Well, you you would be able to if you if you had a bunch of metal working equipment, but I don't. Um, but what what you can do is luckily this is mostly still here so you can use that as a template and I what I did was I cut this piece out right here and um, basically I have just set it how did that go set it on here like this what I need to replace and I've used a uh, my body hammer and um, go over it like this and just kind of and just want to work it work that metal to where it'll it'll shape into the piece that you're replacing so um, basically that's how you that's basically how you do that um, that's the the easy cheap way to do it um, and it and it'll work just fine uh, once you get this piece cut out, it'll be just a little bit bigger, but um, it'll be okay. You can just weld that piece in, and it should be good to go. Just like that. So, yeah, I was kind of kind of bummed to find that, because I was just really hoping that, uh, this would be just a real easy cleanup and, and uh, treat, rust treatment type of deal, but... Um, ran into some holes and I uh, want to take care of that the right way now what I'll need to do is I'll put this down just like this and, and another thing is what you can do is sometimes it's hard to hold that metal uh, I was able to kind of get to it you want to really be really careful with your fingers when you're pounding on this thing because you can uh, really uh, if you were to hit like if I, I was hitting it like this earlier if I was to just mess up a little bit and hit my hand, I'd probably break break my hand, the bone in my hand, and that would not be good because I have to uh, work my work a regular job to make money too. So um, now what we need to do is we'll put this down like this, and we're going to just trace and outline what we need to cut out, and then. Um, 
we'll go to the next step. Okay, a very important thing. You made your outline, okay? But what you want to you want to make sure that you cut on the inside of the line, the inside of your outline. Um, if you were to cut out here, there's going to be too much of a gap between the old panel and your new uh, patch. So cut on the inside of the line, and um, that will uh, this should leave a nice tight fit for your new for your new piece. Okay. So let's see. Now we got the big hole in the floorboard, and even though I cut on the inside of the line, I still ended up with. Uh, let's see. There it is. Ended up a little bit small, but it should be okay, actually. Yeah. All that I can fill in pretty pretty easily. So there's what it look, that's what that's what it's gonna look like right there. Should be pretty good. My uh, ran out of uh, disc on my uh, grinder here on my uh, angle grinder. So my um, big cutter is too big. It's too big for to get into this right here because it's going to cut it'll end up cutting on here i want to show you the um, sunroof i was going to weld the sunroof in but i kind of chickened out after i screwed up my after i screwed up my uh, door um, so i ended up just uh, shimming it and i got it pretty good i believe it's just it's just a little bit low right here in the front, but um, it's not really that bad. You can't really tell. For as old as a car as it is, um, you know, what can you say? You can't really complain too bad. Let me see if I can show it to you. And I'm just kind of getting over a cold if my voice sounds a little uh, funny. So, um, it was really low right here before before I shimmed it out um, this was like I mean you could pretty much stick your fingers in here I don't know if you ever noticed it on my previous vids but um, and I don't know why it was like that because if you go over I'll show you the underside first of all getting uh, the little cardboard piece that this little cardboard piece right here getting that off was a pain in the butt man and it made a mess too so many things so many nasty things up up under there uh, but here's what it looks like um, you got two sh like three shims well it had it had three shims right here three shims on the other side uh, two shims right here and then two shims on that side but um, that was that's the corner that was really low so I put in um, I bought a couple more shims and stuck them up in there and, uh, and now it's uh, sitting now it's sitting uh, pretty good I don't know how functional it's gonna be I'm gonna um, I I bought a uh, a switch um, off somebody off a club 4ag and um, so I'll be able to use utilize the motor and you know and maybe try to fine-tune it a little bit with the switch but I did you can open it manually you got to take this screw out and then there's another uh, you can stick a flathead screwdriver up in there and and, and twist it and it will open uh, the sunroof manually. It's a pain in the butt to do it though. It's not easy. So I'm just waiting for the uh, electrical switch so I can do it with the motor. Uh, and then we'll see how how well it wants to behave. Hopefully, it, hopefully um, I fixed. Hopefully I fixed it. 
Um, I'm not going to be using it much anyway. I'm not much of a moonroof kind of guy. I was going to just I was going to just um, weld it up, but like I said, uh, when I did the door, I, I screwed up royally on it. Uh, let me show you. Um, I mean, I, it was going it was going good. I, I had it I had it um, I had it going good, but I um, I got it a little bit too hot uh, the door because um, I had to patch right here, patch right here, a uh, big long patch right here, a smaller one here, and a really small one here. And um, I didn't um, wait long enough in between tacks. And eventually, I was almost done. And I heard this, and I heard like like a um, like a boom, you know, sound. And I'm like, oh shoot, what was that, you know? And I looked, and then there's a huge. This just kind of this just dented in right here. It just got sucked in somehow. Right there, I tried to pull it out, but it's it's just just flexing. There's uh, I, I can't. I'm not. Um, I don't know how to fix it really. I, mean, I don't know if it can be fixed. Uh, so and also right here too. There's a huge low spot right here. Uh, and I'm gonna. Tr I was gonna try to fix it as well. All the way right here. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, you'd have to. You'd have to just. Uh, uh, I don't know what what you'd have to do there, but um, it's just too much. Look at right here too. Huge low spot right here. Huge low spot right here. It's way too much. There's a big low spot right here. That's where. I mean, th th that's why they had that like uh, quarter inch of bondo right there. That, that you saw there was a big bunch of bondo right here big quarter inch of bondo right here too I mean just thick you know and I didn't really want that so what I did was um, um, so what I did was I'm, I'm trying to uh, order I'm trying to find another door that I can that I can use instead um, hopefully I can find one pretty quickly um, it kind of is a bummer though because uh, shipping is so um, so expensive but um, I found a couple of people hopefully they'll come through for me um, if not you know I'll just have to roll with this until I uh, can get a replacement door I don't have to do anything with this door I can just leave it like this um, I'll, I can primer it you know make it not look so bad but you know I can paint the rest of the car and then after I get the, the new door I can just you know paint that separately unbolt it and bolt that one back and, and bolt it on to this uh, car so uh, that's the good thing about it is I don't have to sit here and wait um, for the for the new door to come in I'd like to have it as soon as possible though um, but anyways enough of me rambling um, let's go ahead and get this thing uh, let me go ahead and fast forward till tomorrow and uh, to tomorrow and uh, we'll get this patch welded in All right, here it is. Um, got it welded up and ground down some of the welds. We cleaned it up a little bit. Um, you can see this right here on this uh, side was harder to uh, get the grinder up in there to grind it out, but um, it should be okay. It's uh, it's all going to be covered with carpet anyway. So um, same with here. It was hard to kind of get the grinding wheel 
way back in there in that corner, but same deal, uh, should be fine. Um, not gonna see any of this. So all I need to do is just treat it with the rust, uh, the rust prevention uh, spray and um, that, sh that should be it. And I'll put on the underside, I'll uh, um, put the rubberized coating on the underside to help protect it. I'm actually going to put one coat of the rust performer clear on there <coughs> and then I'm going to do the uh, primer which is another rust reformer and then on top of that I'm going to put the uh, chassis uh, black uh, uh, gloss paint on there so it'll have three layers of uh, paint and um, it should be good enough that and also I'll do this up here as well All right, here's the uh, final product. I'm going to put um, some seam sealer down uh, at the end, after this paint dries, which will be, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to do all that. But um, I've, here's a, it's got a fresh coat of the uh, black uh, chassis paint. And um, basically here's what it looks like. I had to peel that up in order to get way up under there until I could, until the rust, uh, surface rust stopped. So, um, here it is in all its glory. Uh, let's see. Looking good. You can remember the repair was, sorry. Yeah, you can remember the repair was right here. You can see the weld spot. But it turned out pretty good. I mean, my, um, little uh how i was how i hammered it into a match the existing metal that's there i mean you can't really tell um i got some seam sealer um uh, still so i'm going to just lay an, uh, a bead along that edge this whole edge right here and um we'll call it good here's a look at another patch that i had to put in the quarter panel just cut that rust out then we just uh, weld in a new patch and grind down the uh, excess. Now I finally get to address this surface rust that's been bothering me ever since I bought the car. Now in case you're wondering, this is not a uh, regular grinding disc. It's a um, called a polycarbide uh, uh, polycarbide disc and it, um, it takes away everything except for the metal so uh, that's why I like using it in, in, on rust things like that it just makes makes life so much easier It came off nicely. Now all I gotta do is treat it and uh, get some filler on there. Should be good to go. It's nice and solid. Alright, I guess that's gonna be it uh, for today or for this video. Um, I just wanted to also um, uh, say thanks to my viewers. Um, I'm up to um, about almost 180 subscribers. That's um, That's really good. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I think I'm at 179 actually right now, but maybe by the time this video comes out, I'll have 180. But I uh, also wanted to uh, just give a quick shout out to a couple of people. Um, a fellow uh, Toyota or old old school um, J J uh, Japanese car uh, enthusiast. His name, he's got a, a YouTube channel uh, also, you can check him out. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, he goes by uh, Richard Ibarra. So um, he, he's a real cool guy, a uh, very genuine um, character and uh, just uh, you know, fun, fun channel to check out. He's got an all original 
AE86 uh, GTS and uh, it's like cherry. It's really nice. Um, go check him out. Go check out the 86 Life if you haven't already. I'm probably I'm sure you probably have. Uh, he's got a, a lot more subscribers than me. So, um, but um, you know, check him out. I also put the link in the de in the description here as well. Anyways, um, hopefully I'll get. I'm getting closer to paint. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll get there soon. Um, so stay in touch. Uh, don't forget. Uh, it probably it might be a, a minute before I get the next video up because uh, I don't want to bore you with a bunch of rust cleanup and things like that. But even though I said that in the last video and or a couple videos ago, and here I am again. But I wanted to do this video uh, with the rust repair because it was a little bit different. Um, a little bit different repair um, and and more a little bit different technique so I wanted to just um, you know make sure I get that on video uh, so anyways uh, have a good day and uh, thanks for watching